We're all here. Michael, Joey, Robert. We are all here. Waiting for everybody. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Okay, Cynthia, hello, how are you? Tanya, hello, how are you? Uh, I see Roxana, hello, how are you? Billy, uh, the names keep coming on. Hey, Denny, how are you? It's good to see you. Uh, Jorge, I know that name. Uh, hey, Cynthia, hello to you too. Uh, there's a lot of people online now. We are waiting just a little longer. Hello. Good night to you. Well, good good evening. How's that? Uh, uh, John, hey, MAB. Hey, how are you? Okay, well, I'm going to just shred out a little bit before the festivities begin. Uh, hey, from Argentina. That's very cool. feel pretty good. Anyway, I am playing a really cool guitar. <clears throat> uh, Sawtooth has designed something called a relic, which other people, you know, if you play guitar and, and you've seen some of these relics, they make a new guitar look old. Check this bad boy out. It is beat. It looks mean. Tortoise shell. Now it's not, you know, real tortoise, but uh, which I would, wouldn't be think that was that cool, but it, it's a tortoise shell pick guard. And the thing that I love about these guitars, first of all, they sound amazing. And so I'm gonna play through distortion and clean. And then, uh, and so you see this like really relicked out body. I mean, look at that. It's just, and it comes from the factory this way. So, and what the, what I love about this is it has new hardware. See, um, every relic that you see from other companies relics the hardware. They literally put acid on chrome and metal. That can't be very good. See, Joey agrees. A and so what happens is you get this relic guitar that you can't do nothing with. It's like, what happens if you break apart? What are you going to do? Go to the store, buy a piece, and put acid on it? All of us think, that's crazy. It's insane. But people do it, and they spend thousands of dollars to buy these guitars. Well, there's a word that I want to say about Sawtooth, and then I'll get to the lesson. Sawtooth is about value. It, 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 we are able to produce amazing quality instruments at a price you can afford, but we do things smart. I always wanted a beat up looking relic guitar with new hardware so I could tour with it because when you tour, stuff gets broken. If I'm doing this every night, if 
I'm doing this every night. I'm just relentless. And I'm playing like this. And city after city, country after country. What happens is something. Something's going to happen. Something will happen. Every tour I've ever been on, I've had a part break somewhere on a guitar. If you've got this relic that you spent 6,000 bucks on that they put acid on your parts, that doesn't... What are you saying? <laughs> acid. Anyway, forget that line. But what I, when you put acid on the chrome parts of your guitar, when you make the pickups look old, when you do everything like that, you're messing things up. You're making it virtually impossible to replace anything. Anything. So what do you do with this guitar? You look at it. It's like spinal cap tap. Don't even look at it. It's like... You know, this is my tri rock and roll trilogy. Lick of my love, them. Don't, don't even look at the guitar. You know, so what are you going to do with it? These guitars are killer, man. They are freaking killer. And, okay, I'm a tuning fanatic. And guess what? It's in tune here. Now, I am playing the Blue ES Relic. Now, I want to talk... Uh, about and then I'm gonna I'm gonna also I also have a green one here. This one's really amazing too. Look at that. It's just so cool. And sawtooth is about value. Value. And what is value? Value is not cheap. Value is you get something fantastic for your money. And we tried, we want to be inclusive. We want to bring everybody into guitar. You know, I have people tell me all the time, dude, man, like that guitar is awesome, bro, but I can't afford it. Well, you know, I mean, I didn't come from a rich family. Nobody said, oh my God, Michael, you're so amazing. We're going to give you just stuff. No, I had to work for it. And so, but you don't have to work for the rest of your life to pay for one relic that you can never replace a part with. This guitar can be replaced with parts, but it's still relic. That I mean, nobody's done this, and it's at a really great price point. Now watch. Yeah, don't even look at it. That's right. But I mean, listen to the tone. Now I'm using my 40 watt tube amp. It has a Bad Boy Celestian, another sawtooth product. You can't beat tubes. But it has that really elastic single coil sound. Like Robert likes this. Now this has to do with the topic today. Watch the picking technique. How I change from hands on the guitar, fingers, the fingers off. Robert's very proud of this. Fingers on, MAP technique. I'm learning how to do both because to be a great teacher, you, I think that you have to, th there's a difference between the way I teach and the way other people teach. There's, there's a, 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 a many differences, but there's two, there's two main ones. One, 
I do have the degree. And I've said this a million times, but it's true. And I, I think that it, it says one thing about me. I finished. Went to school, finished, got a diploma. Doesn't make me the smartest person in the world, but it made it so that I finish with a diploma that says I accomplished something. Okay, so that's first. Second, I have a degree from Rock and Roll University. I've lived it. I've toured more than almost anybody. You know, I mean, and I'm reading this thing about Steve Vai, and I love Steve Vai to death. He's got a thumb cast on, his arms in a sling, and he's telling everybody that he's going to go on a 52-country tour. Yeah, I'm going to get to the clean sound. Somebody said that. And I'm thinking, really, dude, are you? And, and, and look, at I love Steve out of death, but here's the difference between me and so many other guitar players that I'm not young anymore. I'm not. That doesn't mean I, you know, I don't, I'm a vampire. I stay out of the sun, so I'm not all wrinkly. And so, yeah, I'm very fortunate about that. But the point is, I've never been hurt. So you are never going to see me in a thumb cast or sling and say, I'm gonna go on a 58 country tour. Really? And what are you gonna play? And so now, here's what I've said. Guitarists like a Steve Vai, look, I, I love him. I like him personally and I love his music. But when you have, when you have a thumb cast on, what it says to me is one thing, carpal tunnel. And it says that you had to have surgery or you did something to injure that thumb because it's never your thumb that you injure. I mean, yeah, people break thumbs all the time. Tendons. And so, and tendons are repetitive motion injuries. If I do this all day, all day! If I just keep doing this over, over, and over, something might get hurt. I'm not done yet. I want to keep doing it. I want to find the arpeggio that can be played over and over. So when you go to sleep at night, you hear this arpeggio in your head and you go, and maybe I hate you, but I love you because you're speaking the truth. And see, when you do something over and over and over and over, the correct ending. When you do something over and over and over, that is repetitive motion. And that a lot of times gives you an injury. I am living proof week after week, day after day, year after year, decade after decade. I haven't been hurt by this because I practice what I preach. Now people say, how do you play fast, man? I've, I've visited this before. But it always needs a revisiting because sometimes people just forget. Now, I know people have been asking, okay, what about the clean sound here? I've got two amps set up. I've got this 25-watt amp of death from Sawtooth. <laughs> Listen to this song. Neck pickup, out of phase. And then you've got, you know. sound and then you'll know, like it's 
got an amazing sound. And so, you know, you have the five position switch, but look at it. Look at this up close. See how it's beat up? It comes from the factory, beat to heck. Look at the neck. It comes like this, but with new hardware. Why? So you can change it if something happens. Look at, if you play something over and over, it's kind of like, and I don't mean to go over this, but it's like Steve I with the thumb. Okay, thumbs to me say carpal tunnel. I know about anatomy because it's my job to know myself. If you have, get anything out of this, and I'm gonna show you these ripping things. One, how to play fast, be careful. Two, how do you know your body? Do you know your body? Do you know your own body? See, your body tells you things. Your body says to you, I feel good, I feel bad, this part feels bad, not for me. This part feels bad, not for me. This part feels bad, uh-uh. None of this feels bad for me. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I don't profess to be, but I, t I listen to my body. First of all, how do you play fast? You work on short exercises. This is what my music degree is. See, there's a million teachers out now. You know, you can go on uh, here on Facebook or go to any medium. How to play fast! And it's some dude that gives you all these exercises. But here's the difference between what they say and what I've said. I lived it. I live rock and roll. I've lived it every day of my life. I've toured more than most people have toured in their entire musical career. We're talking about the biggest bands. I was on uh, my record. I, I mean, I, I averaged over 250 days on tour for over 25 years. Now figure that one out. Before COVID hit, I was on the longest tour and did the most shows I had played from January 2020 to the beginning of March that so you can possibly do. I did over 40 shows just last year and, and I've never been hurt. I've been doing these every week. Whoops, wrong one, here we go. <laughs> every week. Now here is what I do to play fast. If you get anything out of this, sorry, I'm the tuning maniac here and I beat the heck. I show my guitars, no mercy, never mercy for guitars. And so I did what the masters did. Short exercising, concentrating. See, you have to think of music in terms of a few things, if you want to progress. Exercise. I mean, a real lamp, what can you say? You would think in terms of exercises, two. You think in terms of using those exercises to make music. Now, see, this is the thing, you know, I, I mean, I've said this before, but to play fast, you have to always revisit this because you always have to adjust your game. You know, I was a big fan of, I, I don't really watch sports too much anymore. I'm, I'm so busy. But I used to love, you know, being from Chicago, the Bulls with Michael Jordan, you know, Chicago Bulls basketball team. And Michael Jordan was this, you know, he won three championships. Then he got out of basketball, went into baseball, and he found out he wasn't that great. <laughs> You know, he wasn't good at hitting the ball, but he was good at dunking the ball. And so he comes back to the Bulls and wins three more championships. But it, it's not Michael Jordan. I mean, I love him. Don't get me wrong. But it's Phil Jackson that I loved more, more, more even than Michael Jackson. Let me tell you why. Phil Jackson won as a player. Then they wouldn't let him coach in the United States. He coached in Canada. So he won a championship as a player on the New York Knicks. He goes to Canada, wins a championship in Canada, comes back to the United States, wins three championships with the Bulls with Michael Jordan. 
then three more, so that's six, then goes to the Lakers with Kobe Bryant and Shaq and wins even more championships. He is the winningest coach of all time. And so in, in American style sports. And so, but what was his philosophy? Here's what he said to Michael Jordan when he, the second time after Jordan won three, and this pertains to what I'm trying to tell you about playing fast. When you're younger, and you've got all the energy in your bones and muscles and everything and tendons are working great. You can do anything. You're Superman or woman! So you can do what you want. Yes! Yes! I don't feel it! I don't feel it at all! So what happens when you do this over and over? Well, when you're 18, 16, 17, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Sometimes stuff happens. You're not doing it right. You get an injury. So many young guitar players I've seen in cast, in, in bandages. So many older guitar players I've seen. And I'm going to say it again with Steve Vai. If you have to have surgery on your thumb and your arms in a cast or a sling, something's up, man. Something is, you're not doing something right. And, and so, uh, and, and it could be genetics, that, that's possible, but it's this repetitive motion that I've been able to avoid because my methods work. Because I have toured as much as a Steve Vai, as much as a Joe Satriani, as much as a Dream Theater, I have toured every bit as much as them. I, I've done 15 solo albums, not counting two major labels. I've been very busy in music, but I practice what I preach. I use classical piano technique, and that influenced my instructional programs. I do things like I've talked about before, keeping my arm and my elbow close to my body. See, because a lot of people play like this. So what happens is your rotator cuff starts to go. See, if I move it inward, I'm bringing stress off my shoulder and my arm is against my body. Why do you think Eddie Van Halen played up like this? This is one of the best ways to play guitar. People say, dude, man, why are you use a strap sitting down, bro? Like, man, why are you use a strap for? Why? You don't need a strap sitting down. Man, that's like stupid, dude. It's not stupid. It's smart. Because I play like this. I keep that arm close. And I keep it close. So because it allows the pressure to be taken off this, it takes off my elbow. I do things with a reason. Look, I never said I'm the smartest person in the world. But when it comes to guitar, I analyze what I do and I've taught it to you. Speed kills works. If you go over these programs, this is what I play. I see, you know, it's really easy to talk. Anybody can talk. Oh, dude, man, I can't play a double guitar, bro. I can play a double guitar. I can play this sound. Do it. Invent it. Do go on tour. You know, I get challenges all the time. People always want to challenge me to duels, and I understand that. And, you know, and I like to, I like to get rowdy. You know, you know, I'm up for a good challenge, but don't challenge the master that that has toured in 58 countries and made multiple record labels. Get your own career to that point, and then start challenging people. You know, it's like getting in the ring with the top boxers and the top mixed martial arts fighters. You have to earn that. Earn it. You know, it's like they said in Saving Private Ryan. Earn it. And so here's, what I, here's one of the main things that I can tell you. I'm going to switch back to the overdriven sound. How to play fast one. Be careful. Be very careful. Think about your own body. If you get anything out of this, say, I'm trying to help you because I help myself. And I also study. I'm a student. I know young guitar players. I know the past. Learn from the past. If you don't know about the past, 
you, you relearn everything that people knew that were 20 years old 300 years ago. Learn from the past and don't hopefully make the same mistakes. We want to have a better tomorrow than we have today. And that is to know what happened yesterday so you don't make those mistakes of yesterday. Also take what's good about yesterday. Watch when I vibrato. Thumb over the neck product. But when I shred, thumb behind the neck. Now I'm gonna switch guitars. I've gotta play the green bad boy. I love this guitar. I love them both. That was the blue ES relic, and they also, they're 25% off today. It's a flash sale. It's amazing. And, uh, but Sawtooth is about value. You get the best guitar on planet Earth for a price you can afford. And I mean, uh, people know my career. I don't change companies often. I, I'm very loyal. Uh, I have known the people from Sawtooth for a long time. And it, it just, you know, you know the old you know, the owner of my old guitar company passed away. Well, I don't relate to that company now. I, I just don't relate to him in any way, shape, or form. And, and so uh, I wanted to do something new, but the owners of Sawtooth and the owners of Chromacast and, and GoDPS Live, which is the app, which is free, they're just so forward thinking. You know, and, you know, I just love it. When we do things like the hybrids or, or we, you know, we start doing things with guitars and, and, you know, just other people climb aboard. So no one has made a relic like this. You get this from the factory like this. Now each guitar is going to be a little different because they're hand done, but the parts are new. And what does that mean? It means you could swap a pickup if you want. You could change tuners because we addressed the problem that I thought was a problem. And so, but I mean, listen. It's got that elastic sound. It's just got that beautiful tone to it. And for the people that say, well, dude, what does it sound like clean, bro? Well, here's what it sounds clean. Listen to that. That is the bridge position. We're going backwards. This is the out of phase. one of my songs. I wrote a song called Time for Living. It's like... called Time for Living. I wrote it in college. And in college, I was a little confused. I didn't know if I wanted to write the jazz, rock, reggae, fusion, metal ballad. So I came up with these like, Time for Living. This is a 
song I, I released on my YouTube page. It's a song I did after I graduated school, but it's like a reggae song. It's like a rock ska uh, reggae song called Instant Glamour. Like. <laughs> And glamour, but it was, and then I went like. <laughs> anyway, this guitar is beautiful. It sounds great. It looks great, and the price, it's value. We have value in this company. And the guitars sound great, play great, look great, and are very affordable. Now, let's get back to playing fast. If you want to start working on speed, here's what you have to do. I, I equate practice, and I said this a little earlier, and I'm jumping back and forth, but you know, I, I want to jump back and, back and forth. That's what I like to do. And, and so if you want to know a concise and see a concise lesson from me, go to metalmethod.com and get speed kills. It works. On this lesson, playing fast, what you want to do is start slow. And what I do is what I preach forever, just... <laughs> do exercises. I exercise fingers one and two, one and three, one and four, two and three, two and four, three and four. So in other words, I do two finger exercises to start the warm up. I've done it since I've been a kid and I do it now and it works so good because now there are a lot of convoluted and more advanced exercises out there. That people say, oh, if you want to play fast, you need to do this. Well, here's where their thinking is not, in my humble opinion, correct. What I learned in classically trained, as a classically trained musician, and, and learning classical piano, which, by the way, I've got a really great video set up now. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos, including my piano play, which I've never posted before. I played keyboards on every record I've ever played. I wrote the song, Peace. I wrote it on piano. So I wrote this part when I was in England. things that I do is a lot of what I write is always I play it the same way all the time for example the rhythm of no boundaries not a lot of people know the solo but the rhythm is always played like this <laughs>
to hear the music behind the lead guitar. Now, what does that have to do with playing fast? The dynamics, yes, yeah, somebody wrote about the dynamics. Yeah, I'm very much into it. Speaking of that, we have a new band. It's called the MAV Band, and we put bands so people knew, you know, because I'm so known as doing these solo concerts and clinics and things, but you can go on Facebook and and look and join the page. It's MAB Band, but you can hear us doing, we release, we are going to release later this month a whole concert. And go to EPS, there's three parts to Sawtooth. There, uh, and I don't just mean Sawtooth. Sawtooth is one of three. Sawtooth guitars, basses, drums, keyboards. Okay, so you have that. You have chromacasts, which are musical parts. I mean, if you want a guitar stand, you want a music stand, you want a, a lapel microphone, you want anything to do with a part, that's chromacasts. Third part is the retail side, go to EPS Music. Well, the retail side has a new app, GoDPS Live. It's free to join. You're going to see concerts with us. We have a, a really great concert. We did a lot of cover songs. We did some of my music. And, and uh, But you can hear, you know, somebody said dynamics. You can hear it's a three-piece with a singer. The dynamics are amazing. They're ab and we have a great lead singer, and our bass player is a great lead singer as well. And so, uh, I mean, there's just so much talent in this band. But getting back to this, and playing fast, you start slow. And know your own body, and be careful. If something hurts, if something doesn't feel right, it's your freaking body! Do something about it! We don't know. I don't know how you feel. You don't know how I feel. Nobody knows how anybody else feels. We're in this world with everybody and we're all alone at the same time. So what you have to do, but I can recommend, highly recommend, first of all, don't mess up your rotator cuff. Okay, so keep it. Now keep the guitar angled upward. It's a really natural position. You don't need it perpendicular to your body. You angle it upward. It's so comfortable. That's why I use the guitar strap when I'm sitting down. I don't have to rely. Uh, and if I do sit down, I play it on my classical guitar, which would be my left leg. And why? Because I've said this before, but watch. If you practice with your guitar balanced on this leg, on your left leg, your left leg, watch what happens when you stand up. Nothing. If you play on your right leg, what happens when you stand up? You have to move it. So there, this is, these are the things that I think about and I've worked on my entire life. I truly believe that I'm a better guitarist in 2021 than I was in 2020, that I was in 2019 and 2018. The other thing is the mindset. But when you go to play fast, there are limitations only by here. What? Your PPS, potential picking speed. Start with one note. Now I'm gonna bring it back to overdrive here. And you do this. Just keep banging that one note over and over and over. Death to the one note. When you play that, that is your potential picking speed. Just something like this. It translates to this. really fast. So what you want to do is you start with the tremolo, then you work on short exercises over and over and over. Over and over 
and over. If something hurts, what do you do? You be careful. You change. Try to move your fingers just a little bit. Make minor adjustments. Remember, I said I'm going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini, but the Lamborghini requires constant maintenance. And that maintenance is up to you. Your body, your fingers, your thumbs, everything will tell you. For example, when, and I, I'm going to bring up Steve one last time. When I saw that cast on his thumb, it screamed to me carpal tunnel. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he just put it on for something, you know. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I actually wanted to uh, contact him and, and help. Uh, but what you do is you warm up slow. And if you have a... Here's another thing. Why do massages work? When, when you get a massage, you know why? Because they grind on a certain area and it makes blood flow to that area. If your thumb hurts, that, now mine doesn't, but I know about anatomy enough. I'm not a doctor, but I know enough about it to know myself. And so if your thumb hurts, you've got a tendon that runs through your wrist. Usually, a lot of times, you have tendons that run literally right down your arm. It starts in your elbow. If you have pain here or here, they call it tennis elbow. Why? There's inside and outside your elbow. It could be on both, one or the other. But it also affects how it runs through your bones into your hands. What you should probably do is if you feel that, start touching around your hand and, and, and try to find the area that hurts and massage it. You can be sitting in a car just doing this. And so when you want to play fast and want to increase your speed, start on the exercises. Get speed kills. Get my mental method programs. I use them. They work. I said this a million times. I'm going to say it again. A hundred years from now, they're going to still work because I looked at the past to create programs for the present and the future. And so when you want to play fast, you start off. Very simple. Don't do complex exercises. They will not help you. The simpler, the better. Simpler? Is that a word? I don't know. I can't, you know, but the, the, you want to isolate a motion and repeat that and, and ingrain it in your head. I don't even have to look at my guitar, I can just play it. And, and so the point is that when you do that, the bob my head, but I like it! Yeah! Someone said that they didn't find the over-under to their liking. You know what I say to them? I don't care. Did Bucket has mask? Did the mask to your liking because <laughs> so many people I just like to do that stuff because I like it and even this it could hurt you but see here's what I do you have three areas to watch right your shoulder your elbow your wrist well there's actually four and then what it does to affect your fingers so I, I worry about this and and I don't worry like going oh am I here bro no see in my mind he never gonna be hurt that's the key. I don't believe it. I have faith that I know enough that I'm just never going to be hurt. That's it. And, and I, it's, uh, I don't care. You know, people can say, well, that's not true, man. Like, people can't just do anything, man. Henry Ford had the greatest saying ever. If you believe you can or you can't, you're right either way. That's it. And so I believe I can. And, and it's not arrogance. It's just I just believe that stuff will happen for the greater good and for good. 
and, and that's it. And, and that I can do things to help me, but I'm living proof of this. And so... <laughs> It doesn't matter where on the neck, like... I don't usually wang out on us uh, on these kinds of uh, trims. I like to do the vibrato. We're like. <laughs> Just, just kind of a like, like how how do I say it? A, an expressive, vib, an expressive vibrato, but to play fast, then you have to practice the exercises slow and increase your speed. Then play with reckless abandon. I can go faster. It's not master. what you do you practice slow and methodical trying to be careful and not hurt yourself and practice with an exact technique wait can you sweep on that just hear it on the strip okay somebody asked if I can sweep on this of course I can sweep on that okay I'm gonna just play the mother of all sweeps the a minor <laughs> we can sweep on this and so um, if you get anything out of this lesson today I've talked about playing fast many times over the years but it needs to be revisited constantly because you always need a refresher course what pickups in this these are the stock sawtooth pickups I'm telling you you cannot go wrong with sawtooth guitars you just can't there's no guitar company out there major sweeps I did major sweep. <laughs> Here's what I did on the beginning of my No Boundaries album. <laughs> So there's some major sweeps for you. So anyway, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Sorry, I was looking at some names here. and uh, But I want to tell you this without getting crazy uh, and keeping it going for three hours. If you want to learn how to play fast and increase your speed, get speed kills. All the exercises are there. Short exercises. Watch yourself. Here's my mantra for today. Be careful. My other mantra is know your own body. You're, and the other one, uh, there's three of them. Have faith. 
Believe in yourself. Say, I can do this. It's like the Leonard Skinner song. A uh, Simple Man, we do a version of this. You've got to watch it. Join the MAB band page where he goes, like, I'm a simple kind of man. But he goes, you can do this. He's right. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in me. I'm not the most arrogant person in the world. I try to help you each week. But see, helping you helps me to help me because it reinforces my beliefs and what I know works. Anybody can say how to play faster. Anybody can show a bunch of weird, crazy riffs, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I highly, I believe it. I love every guitar teacher out there. But there's a difference between them and me. I've lived it. I've done it, I breathed it, and I'm here to say I've never been hurt doing it. I'm Michelangelo Badio for Sawtooth Guitars, Sawtooth Amps, Chromacast, and Go DPS Live. Check out the MAB Band page. It's right here on Facebook. You're going to see video clips that are mind-blowing. Dynamics, feel, emotion, raw, in your face. It's just so great to play with this band. I really love playing with the guys. And this... The Sawtooth ES series of relics, they cannot be beat. They are the coolest relics out there, and they're probably a minimum of a quarter of the price you're going to pay for something else. And the great thing about this is you can actually use it on tour, and you can't use any of those super expensive ones on tour. What are you going to do? You've acid washed the bridge, and a part breaks. What am I going to do? Put a new... It's kind of like having teeth like this, and I'm putting like a green tooth right in the middle. Really? And so, anyway, I'm Michelangelo Badio. See ya.